Welcome to the Royal College of Pathologists Living Autopsy set of videos. These are aimed at pathologists who would like to develop this event and hold it themselves. So we're trying to give you all the resources so that you can just make it yourself and hold it wherever you want to do so. So this is developed by the Royal College of Pathologists and they also have made several online resources. There are event templates, uh, other things that you can print out, presentations, uh, all available on the Royal College of Pathologists website. So do have a look there. You may have heard of it being called a virtual autopsy, that's what we used to call it. But the feedback from people who attend is that they expect virtual autopsy to mean that it's computer generated or that it's somehow using IT uh, to show them inside a body. So we thought it was a bit misleading. So we started to use the term living autopsy to make clear that there are no dead bodies, that it's only a living model that we use. Now this is one of a series of videos. We have one long one in which I'm going to do an entire virtual autopsy from start to finish. I'm going to try and keep it fairly simple because the other videos are add-ons to that and they will tell you how to tailor your event, how to give it a different theme, how to incorporate different aspects for different audiences and venues for example, also how to promote your event once you've um, decided what you're going to do, how you're going to make sure that you can attract an audience to it. And I've also done some my 10 top tips from my experience of holding these events um, and also a video answering some of the frequently asked questions that I've been asked over the years. But the most important thing is that you enjoy it and have fun. Good luck.